what do you got here, Jim? Well, this here is actually a core that was cut out of a roadway. And what you can see in here is there's a lot of air voids in this, in this particular material. And this is really what we want to avoid when we build a roadway. When we place asphalt pavement, we want to squeeze a lot of the air voids out of it so that water and other things can't get into it. And as you can see on this particular specimen, the, there are a lot of air voids in here and this would not be a really good pavement that you'd want to have on your road because it's not going to last very long because of the amount of damage that Mother Nature will do to it with water and air. And so as you can see, there's a lot of air voids in it. The other thing, there's two other things I wanted to show you. This is actually a full depth core from Route 2. Wow. Um, you can actually see as you get deeper into the pavement, the actual stone itself gets larger. And the reason it gets larger is the deeper you go, the more strength larger stone can support. And so this is actually the entire depth of Route 2. And you'll see on the bottom you have very coarse stone. And as you get towards the top of it, it becomes a much smaller stone. We use the coarse stone on the, uh, on the bottom for strength, and then we use the smaller stone on the top because it provides a better riding surface as well as a more durable surface for environmental damage to resist that so that you don't end up with nearly as much cracking and other problems that can occur from the roadway itself. Oh, it's, and it's probably what, 15 inches of pavement? It's just about 15 inches, yes. Below that would be the gravel base um, of the road, so there's a lot that goes into the a road for cars and trucks to be able to drive over it. Yes, um, yeah, and this bottom part here was actually placed in the early 1970s, and it's actually in very, very good shape still, and so now it's actually a really good condition so that now all, to rehab the road all that has to be done is the very top surface is removed and then it's replaced every 10 years or so. And in South Windsor our roads we have about three to four inches of, of asphalt on most of our residential roads. I think on Buckland Road we have about seven inches so Buckland Road has about half the amount of pavement of Route, route 2. Yep. So the more traffic you have on it the, the deeper the bigger the structure you need to be able to support that. Very good.